Um, yeah, and talk about the character matchup for a little bit here. Luigi, most notable for years now, is grab game. But grabbing Mega Man is so hard to do. Uh, he has one of the best keep away tools in, you know, just the lemons. Oh, right as I say that, King Art gets grabbed. Does he get deaded? Oh, no, he manages to avoid the worst of it. And by the way, so he still took 58. But, hey, he's not dead, and that's all that matters. I heard up beat come out twice. I don't know how I feel about all that. But Ben is doing a great job of just, like, capitalizing so much on every single hit that he lands. You see a nail, you see an up air. Like, he's making that into two or three more hits. And King Art could definitely, like, afford to play this as patiently as, like, anybody can at this point. Ooh, that's such a good punish with that up smash. This could be good, big for King Arc. One thing about Luigi, his recovery is so bad in this game. And the thing that really makes it terrible is his... Almost one of the worst in the game, airspeed. Yeah, um, it is one of the worst. He just really... Sh and because of that, like, he really struggles to get out of the corner. Um, especially. Like, he, but that down me. Oh my god. Invincibility frame one, I believe, right? I'm not, I'm not entirely sure about that, but I'm going to assume that you're correct. But the raw F smash is calling out Ben's attempt to grab it. It's there, there. So good for King Art. This is it. Luigi's off stage. This is his stock to take. He had the right idea on the goal in, but he overestimated Luigi's. Uh-oh. Uh Uh-oh. Mm. Came the wrong okay. on He's the taking damage, but it's, like, it's really big that King Arc isn't dying from these crabs. Because Luigi, I believe, like, if he gets grabbed now, it's not that bad. Like, he'll take damage, but he won't. It's on the earlier side of things when he would get zero to death. Yep. Um, this is really scary for King Arc to miss attack against Luigi. There we go. <laughs> that, can we talk about also the spacing? The way he weaved in and out all around and still managed to get the sweet spot on that down air? King Arc showing us just the mastery of his own character right now. And what a wonky interaction. The hitbox actually interacted with Ben's hitbox getting the extension, but as a result of Mega Man's extended hitbox, he was sucked into the wind, but not into any of the actual hits. I also, I gotta really respect when King Arc is on the ledge, he's not buffering an option. He's taking his time there because he's seeing that Ben 999 throwing out all of these hitboxes. Luigi's, like, actions per second are massive. Oh, that was so smart. You could, he knows the matchup. He went, hit him with the side B, it locked him into place. He was forced to side B again at that exact spacing. And yeah, he was just intercepted and out of there. King Arc taking game one pretty dominantly because those edge guards just mattered so much. King Arc's option coverage is against like Luigi. It's like kind of like a sandbox for him. He has such a good sense of all of the different space that Luigi covers. He did a good job of working around it. And he like did a good job of just like knowing how and when to close out those stocks. Like even when he had, uh, thank you for the three bits here. Even when he had the preset Question, deficit. Just want to know how much three bits was in human money. A bit is a penny. Nice. So it's literally three cents. Thank you for the three cents. Thank you for the three cents. I don't know if you guys know this, but uh, that's a way to get your uh, your comment visible to everybody. With enough cents, uh, we can, like, pair internet, though. I don't know. And that, <laughs> okay, so. That was a really good extension. I think Ben knew that. You know what? I don't want to speak for Ben. I don't know what he was going for with that Zero there, but it kind of worked out. He has so much damage. 85% already on King Arc. Getting back to stage against Luigi is so difficult. He has so many great tools, especially down to the Zero. But one of the big things, the ledge trapping hasn't really been there for Ben 999. He's trying to throw out all these moves to cover all these options, but King Arc is just waiting it out and then choosing his move accordingly. That was so smart. That was just great planning. Oh my, and he actually used Rush. That was so smart from Ben 99. He would have made it back regardless. Really nice air dodge to be well, able to. Well, he might not have because King Arc could have intercepted him still. Mm. He didn't have to worry about that at all. Like, he's back on stage now because, you know, he jumped on the dog. He has no jump. He should be dead. Yep. Like, Ben already knew that he wasn't going to be able to make that back even with the side keys. Um, yeah, Luigi getting back to stage is always really, really rough. Amazing shield pressure using the leaf shield. And he's falling out of that down B again. Ben is getting maybe a little bit too antsy with those inputs. I love the air dodge back so he wasn't forced to recover low again. He's dead once more. That's 
and he reels back in his seat. He is not happy about that one. King Arc is still at 123%, and this is Mega Man with a two-stock lead. He can just play the exact way that he wants to now. This is such a grim position for Ben 99 to be in. I love the way that he was stalling off stage, and he set up that Metal Blade for himself in such a way that if it hit Ben, great, I've interrupted his ledge trapping. If it hits the stage, great, I can pick that up and use that as an asset for myself. Um, so it's like, King Oak has such a good flow chart of like things to do. His setups are amazing. Does it look like it might? Okay, it is not a three stock at the very least, but Ben 999, he has a lot. He has a lot of work ahead of him if he wants to stay in the winner's bracket. He has one grab and he's eating up the stock count. Like, King Ark is doing a great job of just, like, capitalizing on what Ben wants most. Luigi not having any good stall options or momentum, momentum killers with having that horrible air drift. Like, he's just going to die horizontally like that. Damn, I... Really what was such a difference between those two players in that game was the ledge trapping. Yeah, there was also the offstage stuff, of course, but as you yep. saw there in the end, he was just King Ark was getting so much damage while Ben 99 was on the ledge. And when King Ark found himself on the ledge, he was very patient. He just waited and he found his exact moment to get out of there. And when you're able to get off the ledge for basically for free like that, your opponent it, it just becomes so much harder for them. They have yep. to put in so much more work to actually win.